Hi, I'm Kip. And I'm Rob. And this is our Malaysia PowerPoint. Rob Hussey will take us to learn about the government international relations of Malaysia. The Yang de Puertan Engong, which is the equivalent to a president, is selected by the nine sultans of the Malay states. The Malay people go by English common law, which is very similar to the British colonial rule. Um, the federal courts review court of appeals and also have original jurisdiction. Uh, by the Internal Security Act, the minister of the Malay states can arrest anybody without question. There are 27,299 prisoners in Malaysia, 581 thefts, 8 rapes and 2 murders per 1,000 people. Also, another statistic about the government in Malaysia is that most of the power is vested in the executive branch. Thank you, Rob. Now, talking about Malaysia, did you know it was the third largest economy in Southeast Asia? The most valuable export is petroleum, the largest producers of tin, rubber, and palm oil. Now, knowing this information, we'll continue our story with spiritual beliefs and religion of Malaysian people. Susu cigar, susu cigar, it's fresh and good. A milk day, a milk day is all to make your day. Ah, roti, 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 make you strong like me. Come here, Randy, buy my roti, you can even eat this plain. Coffee, susu, any susu goes with anything. Oh. Roti, kaya, roti, sardine, any roti also can. The main religion in Malaysia is Islam, with more than half of its population being Muslim. The official religion of the Malaysian government is also Islam, although the Malaysian constitution guarantees religious freedom. Public schools are also required to offer religious education courses, although our alternatives, alternative classes are offered to those who aren't Muslim. Now looking into learning and technology in Malaysia. The Ministry of Education handles pre, primary, secondary, and post-secondary schooling in Malaysia. Children in Malaysia are required to go through their primary education. They are allowed to go to public school, private school, or be homeschooled. They, are also, they also take standardized tests in Malaysia, making it very similar to schooling in the U.S. The educational technology movement is also hitting Malaysia similarly to how we are feeling it in the U.S. using computers and lots of technology much more. Life of a Malaysian is very closely related to life in America. They have a lot of the same freedoms and choices as we do in America. Kids get to go to school and play money sports like baseball, soccer, and swim. There is little segregation in Malaysia when it comes to ethnicity, race, and religion. Although there have been some disputes over ethnicities of certain groups in Malaysia. For the short, for the tall, for the big, for the small, for our brothers, for surfers, for divers, for the lucky, for our rulers, for the positive, for those who speak up, for those who stand out, for our children, for the one who leads and for the one who will take over, for our culture, la, for the fashionable, for those who love you, for those who love you not, for those who love you a little, for those who love you a lot, for the optimistic, for sun worshippers, for astronomers, for visionaries, for our home, for Muhiba, for everyone. Welcome back. Now it's time for arts and crafts. Today we will be learning about batiks, kite making, pewter making, weaving, and wood carving. Batik is an art of dyeing fabric that was brought to Malaysia by Hindu traders centuries ago. This craft designers are first drawn up on cloth and then are blocked off with wax outlines. Batik has become an established craft which is commonly used on bags, cushions, or covers. Kite making. Design in bright colors and patterns. Kites are carefully made in intricate patterns. Sometimes floral patterns are also used for decoration, while paper tassels are joined to give it a complete look. This is an established art that has prevailed from many centuries ago. Weaving is one of the oldest arts in Malaysia. They use weaving for sh uh, bags, baskets, artistic jewelry, hats, and floor mats. Malaysians also like to carve wood. 
they put designs on their houses, roofs, and also on lamps and tiki torches. The wood carving is more for decoration. And this concludes today's edition of Grabinovsky.